Antibiotic resistant superbugs have made hospital stays a dangerous proposition with approximately one in every 25 patients getting an infection in a hospital on any given day and as many as 75,000 a year dying from them. Could asking what would grandma do work on this decidedly modern problem. Here with more is WSJ reporter Lucette Lagnado. Lucette, great to see you. You spent some time with the infection control czar at Mount Sinai Hospital, correct? I did. And what does he turn to in this war against the superbug? Amazingly, considering it's such a complex problem, Tanya, Dr. Brian Cole is his name, um, has turned to his late grandmother for advice. Um, and here's why. Um, his grandmother, he remembers, would clean their house. She raised him top to bottom, and she'd really put elbow grease into it, none, none of this lazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And then she used bleach. She used bleach everywhere. And guess what? Bleach turns out to be pretty much the only or one of the very few um, household substances, products, that actually kills these horrible bugs. Really? So does bleach kill everything, including C. diff? And that's the superbug that we know can be fatal and very scary. It's definitely very, very effective with a lot of bugs, and it is really effective with C. difficile, which is such a scary, yes. horrific kind of bug to get. So why, then, isn't every hospital using bleach? Tanya, I've been asking myself that question day and night since I've been reporting this story. Um, it seems such a no-brainer, doesn't it? It's cheap. You can use bleach wipes. They do the job. And it turns out, well, maybe it's not so easy. Um, hospital executives aren't in love with it because it sort of is corrosive. Mm. So, say, a gurney and other hospital equipment that you'd clean with bleach won't have as long a lifespan. So mm. it really comes down to dollars um, at some level. But the absurdity of it is that hospitals are spending a fortune because patients are getting so sick unnecessarily. Is it is it perfectly safe, though, bleach for human you know, you, you can touch it. It doesn't, it won't do anything to your skin. Well, I, I think you have to be careful, but I mean, these bleach wipes, right, are the fine. standardized formulas are, are very right. usable and they've worked on the smell because some people are sensitive to the mm -hmm. smell. Let's be right. realistic. They won't use it in like neonatal ICUs, mm -hmm. but they can use it in other places. You're making me want to bring my own bleach wipes the next time I go to the hospital, <laughs> just wipe everything down. Let's talk though. Great idea. Is not a good idea? Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit though about the antibiotic overuse. A lot of doctors are saying that this is a big part of the problem. Right. What are they pushing for now? They're saying it's actually the central part of the problem. There's actually a debate which is more important, but people mostly come down on the side of let's control. We've like gone wild right. prescribing these very super drugs, very expensive. And some are even advocating a return to the sort of less I guess less right. potent 70s era antibiotics right. like penicillin. Even older. Penicillin was invented, started being used in 1942. Right. I mean, penicillin may not be effective on a lot of the bugs, but if you begin to think out of the box and you begin to think about some of these older drugs that we shoved aside as we started working with like the Cipros and Levoquins of this world yes. that are incidentally, you know, quite expensive, um, there's um, a possibility of trying them out and as one of the researchers told me, uh, repurposing them to it, use them again. This may be the time. Lucette, thank you so much oh, for I, all of that. Thank you.